I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your overview report for 2013 Sagittarius. So this year you can reassess where you are and what you have achieved. So Saturn is in your 12th house. So Saturn is cautious energy, but it will urge you to cut, cut your losses and move on. So it's a good time to just look at what's not working in your life and make conscious decisions to leave it in the past um, and move on. Now you've got like two and a half years here before Saturn moves in. Two years really before Saturn moves into your sign, but then if we've got retrograde, it'll go out for a little while and come back in. So you've got a couple of years just to fine tune your life, uh, restructure and let go of, and cut loose and let go of anything that's not working, okay? Now let's have a look at romance for the year. So May, um, the light shines on heart matters and Venus and Mars in your seventh house of love and relationships plus Jupiter for the first half of the year. So certainly the half, first half of the year is very good for, for love. If you're looking for love, it's one of the times where you can really just um, meet somebody who's like uh, almost, it feels like a soulmate. So, um, if you're looking for love, then certainly don't spend all of your time behind, at work behind your computer. Get out there and start to socialize, okay? Now for your career, Jupiter will move into your eighth house on June the 26th. So this is a time when you can reinvest in your career and, and expand on a business level. Pluto, also in your second house of money. Anything to do with money needs to be at the highest level of integrity. Try not to take too many risks this year. You want the risk to be, let's say, calculated. Um, circumstances out of your control can really change your life considerably this year. So um, there's, with the Uranus-Pluto squares, another two of those exact degree hits coming up this year in May and November. Um, you want to just be mindful that things can happen that really you have no control over and you want to just have faith that at the end of the day when the pieces fall into place um, it's going to work out in your favor okay now personal growth for 2013 is that you can regroup it's like you can as i started off with this reading this is a year to really reassess where you are regroup um, don't judge your progress and accept yourself and your achievements for what they are. So this is a new year and every day is a new day. So it's more important the decisions that you make now to move on with rather than judge yourself for what you perceive you haven't done to this point, okay? Now, your power month I put down of May, which is a very good month for professional and personal matters and my angel advice for 2013 um, people will offer help this year so it's almost like the re resources from other people particularly in the second half of the year can pay off for you so uh, my advice would be to accept the help but also to remember that generally there's a price to pay somewhere even if it's not straight away um, so there's uh, give and take, life is full of give and take situations and moments. So, uh, you know, right now this year, it's like you're in a position to um, take help that's offered, but somewhere down the track, it's, it's like you'll be in a position to give it back as well. Now, this is just a snap view of 2013 Sagittarius. So if you go into my Jennifer Angel pages on the NewYorkDailyNews.com website, you'll be able to get a more extensive written report of what's coming up for you in 2013. And uh, if you miss that report for some reason, I can always email it to you. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me through the years. Look forward to reconnecting with you on the monthly reports. Bye for now.